What is going on everybody, this is Josh from Sorcerer Studios and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a discussion video and the question was actually asked by one of our subscribers. And basically this question was, how do you work on a team in Unity? Now he was being more specific about file sharing without having to use sites like Mediafire or basically anything else. But I'm going to discuss the Unity collaboration system as well as diving into some other team game dev topics such as keeping team morale, how to communicate effectively within your team, and basically just how to overall work as a team. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, I wanted to talk about all of the resources that a developer with Unity has. And the main source for collaboration is called the Unity Collab System. But wait, I know, if you heard that they got rid of the Unity Collaboration System and they made it a paid product now, yes and no. I will discuss that in just a moment. So basically, the Unity Collab System is a file sharing service where you can upload all of the files in your game to the cloud and other members can download your progress. This allows multiple members from different locations to work on the game at the same time. So basically how it works is if you have a bunch of changes that you want to make and you want to publish them to the cloud so that your teammates can see it, you just hit the collab button, you type in what description you have or basically what changes you made and then you hit publish now and it is that easy. Now for the people who are saying, hey, this is something that I need to pay for, right? Well, no, until your team grows beyond three team members and the size of your project grows beyond one gigabyte. And then if you want to expand on your project or on your team members, you will have to go with the advanced Unity Teams option because the collab feature is part of Unity Teams, which just exited beta and that is why you saw the collab feature get changed. So the advanced feature enables more than three team members and it enables you to go as high as 25 gigs. Now, if you want more space or more team members, then you can pay an additional charge. But I'm currently using it for free because my project is still under one gig and my team is three members or less. So that is what I'm doing right now and it still works just as well as the paid version. So great, so that is the Unity collaboration system in a nutshell. So now I'm going to talk about some other services that you can use to more effectively communicate with your team. So one resource that I use quite a bit is Google Drive. And this is a file sharing service created by Google. And if you have a YouTube account and you're watching this video, then you definitely have a Google Drive account because of, you know, all of Google's apps. So basically what I use it for is I use it to share text documents, basically talking about certain pieces of lore of the game that I want to develop or just general plans of the game. Now you can kind of do this with Unity Collab, but it doesn't really work very well. So if I wanted to explain an idea to somebody who would like to edit the file at the same time as me, then basically Google Drive is your friend. Now what if your teammates are far away and they're not in the same building basically, and you have to chat with them online. Now, as you know, there are a couple of video talking services. For example, there is Skype, which I've been using for the past few years, but one software that I have been using a bit more of lately is Discord, because Discord has a lot of other options that you can use, such as a typing chat system, which Skype does have, but I believe that Discord does it better. And also there are Discord servers, which I'm not too skilled at, but if you want to dive deeper into that, I'm sure there are some other videos on YouTube about that. So those are the main resources that I use when working with team members. So now we're going to jump into pretty much just how to keep the vision of the game going with your team and how to keep team morale. So as you know, if you're working on a game that takes quite a while, then it might be hard to stay motivated with it. And this is kind of compounded when working on a team. So for example, I am working with Matt on Escape from Odin. And we've been working on this game for roughly eight months. Well, Matt kind of joined in about five months ago, but I've been working on this game for roughly eight months. And basically, sometimes it could be hard to keep the motivation on for this game. So basically what I do as 
the person who kind of controls the direction of the game, is I try to keep Matt very involved on the lore, and pretty much all of the exciting stuff that makes the game alive, basically. So, so I basically try to share the excitement with my team as much as I can to make them as hyped about this game as I am. So that's, again, where Google Drive comes into play. I basically type down what I want to type, and I share them my ideas, stuff about lore, and pretty much anything that excites me or... Um, has me motivated for the game in its entirety. Now, of course, there are other things that motivate me as an individual about keeping this game afloat, and of course that is things like the devlog and just keeping up on the Instagram and the YouTube. That really motivates me to keep going on the game. But from a team aspect, that is pretty much the main thing that I do to keep my team excited for what I am doing and to pretty much keep up the energy for the development of this game. So there we are, those are my tips on how to work as a team in Unity, either with collaboration, or communication, or motivation. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got something out of it, and please let me know what you thought in the comments, and without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.